Tonight's I-Team report, Chicago's rising murder rate in a new context. How the numbers of shooting deaths now compare to the city's most notorious crime era, the one that has tarnished Chicago's reputation around the world for a century. ABC 7 investigative reporter Chuck Gowdy joining us with some surprising details tonight. Chuck. Kathy Allen, the surprising stats show we are worse off now in the category of murder than we were at the height of the period that has driven Chicago's crime reputation for almost a century. Al Capone's Gangland Chicago. Tonight, the I-Team compares two months, January 1929, leading up to the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, and last month, January 2013. This January's bloodshed has caught the attention of Chicagoans, local politicians, the White House, and people around the world. 42 killed here last month, the most in any January since 2002, and far worse than the city's most notorious crime era at the end of the Roaring Twenties. Chicago, 1929. Even though the image of Chicago, perpetuated by Hollywood over the years, was that mobsters routinely mowed down people on the streets, the crime stats tell a different story. The figures from January of this year are significantly higher than January of Al Capone's most famous year, 1929. With today's fatal gunshot attack on a vehicle on Lakeshore Drive, February is starting as January left off. But if the current murder rate continues, February 2013 will far exceed February 1929, when there were 26 killings, and that number includes the attack known around the world, the St. Valentine's Day Massacre. In that single slaughter, seven people were lined up against a warehouse wall on Clark Street and gunned down. It was a bootlegging dispute between North and South Side mob gangs. That hasn't changed between then and now, as police today cite street gangs and drugs for the rise in modern killings. The 42 murders in January is nowhere near the most ever in a month, but even that figure is not from the rat-a-tat-tat years. It is from the early 90s, when police also said a mix of gangs and drugs fueled the tremendous number of killings. In January 1992, there were 77 murders in Chicago. That is the January record. Most of the murders then and this year were with guns. That was also the case in 1929. There was no real gun control back then. The first National Firearms Act wasn't signed until 1934, requiring approval of the local police chief, federally registered fingerprints, federal background checks, and a $200 tax. And that discussion goes on to this day about Still how trying to, to control out what guns. To do. Okay. Chuck, thanks.